one out there. This video is going to be about all the meat might be gone. Where is the beef? See the beef patties? Yeah, don't they look so good? Hmm. Well, now if the cows are getting taken out of the plants and the plants are closing down because workers are not being properly covered because of the coronavirus and not secured, you're going to be walking by burger places going, where is your beef? Now, we didn't had toilet paper hijacked. We've had hand dispensers hijacked. We've had handy wipes hijacked. All kinds of paper utensils and masks and things have been hijacked. Next is going to be, where did the beef go? That's the new catchphrase. Where is the beef going? Where did the beef go? Because now there is a reality that if the meat processing plants, especially the serves of ground beef or the pork are no longer in place, are you ready to become a vegetarian? Could this be a reality? Could you go to the meat market in the next few weeks and go in there and there is no beef? There's no pork. What are you going to do? All you got is this faded memory here, this burger patty sitting in some lettuce on the sesame seed bun. What happened to my beef? Where did the beef go? You're going to be very upset. Oh, the realities of the coronavirus. The realities say that this is serious, that it's affecting everything. Oh, and if the cows, you remember about E. coli and you remember all the different situations, right? Could it get extreme? Could this be the next wave? No more beef, no more meat. Or what happens if you have to fight to get your beef? You have to fight to get some meat. What will you do? This is the reality that we're facing. There's always something new that comes along. And then there's another mountain to climb. And there's going to be more people. They're going to be opportunists. Could you imagine going to eBay or a site and seeing a beef? Say, hey, come get a slice of beef for $10 each. Could you imagine that? Somebody said, well, you got that stimulus check. Why don't you give me, give me about $500, I give you. $500, I give you 50 patties. Could that really be the next wave? See, because why it might sound kind of funny, the reality isn't funny. This is a very serious situation that we're dealing with. And if it infer infer comes along and infiltrates the meat industry, then what happens next? And what happens if you have to go to a burger place and they have to cut down on serving your meat and they can't serve it? Then what? And you can like chicken, but what if you wanted some beef? So where did the beef go? Where is the beef? What's going to happen? That is the next question. And stay tuned because with Tyson Foods and the people being sent out, the meat plants are going to be the next one to take a hit. And then that also affects the dairy with the cheese. Hmm. Tofu, please. We will see. All right, give me your thoughts and your takes. Hit the like, subscribe when the bell rings a new video. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another, and don't get comfortable because just right when you thought that something else couldn't be impacted, this could be next. I'm out. Peace.